Hey, good morning. This is Frank speaking from the tech marketing team here at Databricks. Welcome to this demo about Lakeflow declarative pipelines on the free edition. Here's the thing, you should not watch that video. Don't recommend that video to friends either. What you should do instead is go to the repo. This is where we give you the code, copy the code. That's the streaming table. That's the code for the materialized view. You only need those two data sets and one line of configuration to run that demo, to do this tutorial yourself. You can actually do it with a Databricks free edition. And what we do is we literally ingest data from all these planes, from planes flying right now over your hat. So technically it's the textbook definition of IoT streaming data. It's updated very frequently. You see these orange, this orange plane flying over the map and we get this X, Y coordinates and the altitude and the orientation, etc. So create a new pipeline, give the pipeline a name, like I'll take flights, select a catalog and a schema, and then go to start with an empty file. Uh, we start with Python, that's cool. Click on create. And then I want to use the assistant. You could copy the code as I told you, but this is like the AI assistant from Databricks. Create me that streaming table. Generate. It's the open source uh, streaming table format, PySpark import pipelines. I need those two lines as well because I need to register my data source. Then I change the name of this uh, Python file uh, just to make it more readable. And that's it. I need one single entry for configuration because I kind of imported that uh, data sources. It's like the, the, the pip install in, in Python in a notebook. And that looks good. And now I can click on run pipeline. So the pipeline is spinning up, takes a few seconds. And um, now we have this data set, a streaming table. You see the sample data that is coming in, like the call signs of all these planes in the origin country of all these planes, uh, the time position when this was ingested, then longitude, latitude, which kind of is X, Y coordinates, and the altitude, of course, it's planes flying in the sky. And now I want the analytics. I create a materialized view. I'll select SQL now um, because we can mix SQL and Python, and that's just more convenient in SQL. Click on create, and that should give me an empty template, which I get now. So add any of the aggregations that you're interested in. I like these, you know, vertical rates, min and max. I'm a big fan of roller coasters, so I <laughs> always like to see that. But you basically, again, you can just copy that from the GitHub repo. Click run again. That's the maximized view of the pipeline graph. 6k ingested rows and that should give us a single row because it's like one row with all the aggregation values here we go that looks perfect now i go to genie uh, that's the cool thing i can use natural language select my uh select my table i use natural language to define uh questions for for genie and that's working against my data stream against this you know planes flying in the sky that's a histogram of the speed. So if planes are flying, they're typically fast. That's a requirement to be able to fly. Uh, show me the altitude versus velocity. That's the list. Um, again, you see if they're flying higher, they're also flying faster, which makes sense. Let's change the color to red. Uh, looks more impressive, doesn't it? Again, cool diagram to check for your data. And now plot me the coordinates. And I also want the, the at altitude of those planes uh, encoded as color. Looks like this. Again, uh, that looks like an outlier. We should check for the data quality again. But this is it, you know, natural language uh, query against the data stream. If you want to get there, open sky, data breaks block. It takes you to the block. And then recommend to read the blog. It's describing everything I just told you. Scroll down at the very bottom, you get this hands-on section, how to get to the free edition, how to get to the GitHub repo. In the repo, again, you have these detailed instructions of, you know, what to do, and you can copy the code from there. Super easy. Thank you, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.